plum in my life. So what was the reaction in the team? When did you guys kind of cotton on to the fact that this is what they were going to do? Well, we didn't know until, right. you know, until you're it too, actually you're happened. You're too far away. You're yeah. sitting in a glass box. So, and and even, we've got the television on, but I doubt we've got the commentary on. Um, too irritating. And um, <laughs> so really all we're doing is looking out the field, wondering what the hell's happening. Trevor didn't have a particularly long run up anyway, so the idea of him just sort of standing at the top of his bowling crease just looking around was was nothing much. Um, and then it sort of just happened. Well, um, what happened then? Jeff Howth, I think, was probably the most alert of us. He he was playing most of his cricket in England where the underarm was actually outlawed, although, as we subsequently found, it wasn't in Australia. Yeah. Um, so he ran onto the field in his socks and um, that. <laughs> upbraided the, the umpires about that. And um, anyway, uh, they took about as much notice as they did of my catch. Um, <laughs> Sensing it, just a tad of bitterness about that. <laughs> but, what? but the other thing that happened almost simultaneously is, so at the, the MCG in those days, you the dressing rooms are these huge AFL dungeons way down in the depths of... of the, the main stand and the players then to watch the game you go up a whole series of steps and you sit in a in a glassed viewing room it was actually really good I liked it anyway this the underarm happened and um, Mark Burgess was sitting there and um, he, he had been drinking a cup of tea or coffee and had an enamel cup in his hand and he just stood it stood up and he threw it like full force throw from the boundary at the wall about three metres away and this cup just disintegrated not into two or three bits and to about two or three thousand bits. Um, so I sort of probably realised that some of the older guys were a bit, bit unhappy.